We're here at the showroom right now. The plug just pulled up. We've got a crazy, crazy Kobe collection. Easily over, you know, 100,000 worth of Kobe's. So we'll take a look. Um, crazy heat, player edition, samples, all that kind of good stuff. Gonna head out right now. Yes, sir. It's all Kobe 4 collection, so a little bit of everything. A lot of samples, rare sneakers, so I'm going to just start pulling them out, showing you guys. Guzma PEs. Undefeated. These were the Rosen PE Weisenards. I don't even know if that's how you pronounce it. These are the PJs. These got a scuff because they, uh, they're actually game used. Tough. But these were like the ones that he, uh, he sold. I think he had like a, a event on eBay for charity. And these are DeRozan's. These are the ones that are probably the most Undefeated. Yeah. Those, are, those are rare. How'd those you even get those? Uh, Stock X, dude. You just ordered Stock them? Stock X, yeah. And these are Kuzma's too, and then these are the Lucas. Oh. But these are... What's the story behind it? How'd you get the Lucas? This guy, uh, this guy's got a store where he, I think he just knows a bunch of dudes in the in the league, and um, that's what's the same place I got these. And uh, he's got those. He's got a bunch of Malik monks. Cause Malik rocked the Kobe fours when he was in Charlotte. These are nuts. I don't know what he wears now, but I couldn't find any Lakers colorway with those. What, what's the story behind these? Those are Malik's. Those are Malik monks. Those were those were a couple of my favorite. For sure. And they're new. But like I said, dude, they serve their purpose for me, man. You know, somebody's gonna enjoy them a lot more than I will. 100. percent I could, I could definitely see that. <laughs> what, are, what's, what are these called? What are those these? are. I think those are MLK. I'm pretty sure those are MLK Day. He was sending me pictures of these, and I was literally like, "This is crazy. I've never seen this many Kobe fours at one time." <laughs> right. That was my favorite model, dude. Like ever, obviously. Oh, these are Kuzmas too. Um, I didn't realize that until I got down here. I was looking at size 15, right? Yeah, these, yeah, you see the sample in there. Season, Pro Tro. Crazy. Never touched. DJ Tucker. DJ Tuckers. Pretty certain those are DJ Tuckers. Nuts. I'm just trying to get y'all the PEs out. Everything is heat. Everything is heat. Even this stuff. These? These are nuts. Those got, this is the one that has the minor Stuff. scuff. Okay. This is the one that's straight, but. Cool. These are sick, dude, yeah. Nike. I'm okay. telling you, man. Academy? Um, these are called the Academy? The 19 Skills Academy, yeah. Skills. Crazy. Um, I've had, I've been selling like a lot of the older Kobe, some of the Kobe's I've gotten you. Uh -huh. I gotta start giving dudes disclaimers because one of my clients wore them on the court. You remember those red Kobe 5's you had? Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. This whole soul fell off. Come on. I swear. But I figured I figured I told him it would happen. Yeah. Because it's a collector's edition, their 05 release. And they're just sitting there. And they're just sitting there. Yeah. They've been sitting there for years. Yeah. There's no way they're gonna hold up in a hoop game. Yeah. All San Antonio. Undefeated. San Antonio undefeated. Um and then Olympic gold. Olympic gold. Oh. I think these are the finals MVPs. Or maybe just the MVPs. Can't remember. There's so many of them died. Yeah, this is a lot. The only ones I couldn't could never find um, were the McFly peas. Have you Fire. seen those? I think I have. The four McFlies? Yeah, I think I have. They're impossible. Those are dope. Rice. So you didn't care about size with these? Any any no, size you could find? I just wanted to find okay. like every model that I could. It didn't really matter. Fire. Kuzma Marble PE. You see the detail on these. I like, love the fogginess, bro. Like. Like the clouds and stuff, it's so sick. Beautiful, beautiful <laughs> sneaker. <laughs> Let's see. Final 409, I think that was in San Antonio. I'm running out of space, bro. Yeah, I know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to get another, we're gonna get another rack right now. Books. What's the story behind these? How did I you just, find I these? Just, I just found them, man. It was I think it was the same guy. G 
Looks to saw him pop up. I think he actually messaged me about him. Malik Monk, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is a Hornets colorway. Crazy. Malik Monk, huh? Uh, Bucks. Yes. Bucks. Bucks, and then draft day. <laughs> draft days are nasty. These are nasty, too. They this really is are. a classic right here. It's so detailed, man. The day. That's what I was going to say on the uh, Olympic gold ones. They had his number as it's 10. True. Yeah. They just knew what they were doing, man. Man. Yeah. These Team are Orange. the. Team Orange, I think. Fire. And then the black guy defeated. Yes, sir. Fire. Can't really go wrong with these. Listen, Arts. Fire. Really can't go wrong with these. And I wasn't home. Splatter. Splatter. Lower Marion. These probably, if they're 09 release, probably wouldn't be hoopable. You see the sole is already coming off a little bit. But that's kind of what happens with the older ones. Those are 09? Yeah, they're just, it's, it's, it's more of a display piece. You'd have to get like a professional re-gluer. Like you see this one's sole is already coming off. Yeah. Yeah. Never it happens. Worn. That's wild. It happens on some of them, but hey, dope. You get the right person. Preludes. You really, hey, you really can't go wrong with these. You know, I used to have the whole pack when I was, uh, really? when they came out. I had the ones, the the twos, the threes, the fours, all of them. Sixes, I legendary. Wish, I wish I'd have bought every release when they came out. And they weren't even bad. And they, they got bad though. The the ones, the ones were actually really bad when like like expensive wise. Huh. When they first came out, but crazy. Can't go wrong with either of these. The last two. Fade to black. This is easily the most crazy Kobe collection I've ever witnessed. And it's crazy because my guy, I've gotten some other stuff off of him. And if you put it all together, it would be by far the craziest collection I've ever seen. So, props to my guy. But Kobe, right here. These are the Faded Blacks. Mm -hmm. Heat. Can't go wrong. Another older release. Um, you're really not going to see these anywhere. The detail, like, you see the details. Like, if you like the United States, Philly. He's got his birthday Phillies. in there, too. Yeah, little details. Doesn't get better than that. But yeah, by far the craziest Kobe 4 collection I've ever witnessed. Probably Kobe collection I've ever witnessed, honestly. So this is one of my favorite pairs that we got dropped, picked up today. Kobe 5, Pro Cho, Kyle Kuzma, Lakers edition. Just because it's Lakers colorway, super sick, super rare. I've never seen these before in person. I've seen them online once or twice, but ridiculous. My twin, Luka Doncic. Player edition, Luca. Everybody calls me Luca. These are absolutely nuts. These are actually worn by Luca. So, yeah, the value on these through the roof. You don't ever see these. Like, come on. I gotta say, one of my other favorites is probably the undefeated Kobe Four. These are a size eight, smaller pair, but these are so, so, so rare. Super exclusive. Um, then, you know, they had the undefeated collection. These, these are obviously really popular as well, but these, I don't see anybody with these. Then I'll say my final, final favorite pair is the Devin Booker Player Edition Kobe 4s. All purple with the clear sole. These are absolutely beautiful. Love these shoes. But yeah, guys, this is a crazy Kobe collection. I think it's over 100K worth at least looking at it right now. But I appreciate all you guys tuning in, all the support, and let's keep going. Appreciate all you guys. Showroom LA, we out.